for today's video, I've changed the power supply setup on my Marks. I'm still using the 15KV30MA NST that you can see at the very bottom. But on top of it, on a couple of makeshift pieces of foam, I've balanced a full wave voltage doubler based on uh, two strings of four microwave oven diodes to take the voltage and two 800 picofarad 60 kV uh, capacitors can be seen there. So I'm now doubling the voltage of my NST. The uh, stage gaps are now uh, set at a little over five-eighths of an inch. Here's a view of the other side of the power supply. It's a bit messy with clip leads and whatnot as I test, but the uh, gap has been now set up to 8 inches. So let's see what this does. Here's another run with the voltage doubler and 8 inch discharge gap. With this full wave voltage doubler set up, the discharge rate is fairly high at several discharges per second. Here, the discharge electrodes are set at eight and a half inches. It's not firing every time, but it's still firing fairly often. Here, it's running a little better at eight and a half inches discharge electrode spacing. I added another 25 mega ohms of resistance to the power supply, raising the total to 55 mega ohms. Here's 23 centimeters, 9 inches discharge electrode separation. It's not firing as often, and not every time, but it'll still fire at 9 inches, 23 centimeters. That's a fair bit of voltage. Let's see if we can get a discharge to happen up to 10 inches, 25 and a half centimeters.
got one. An occasional firing at 10 inches, 25 and a half centimeters, seems to be about the limit of this device today. quite loud when it goes off. Here's a run at eight and a half inches to discharge electrode spacing. Here's the last shot of it running with things cleaned up and wired a little better. The discharge gap is about eight and a half inches.
and gives me a longer and reliable discharge. Well, that's all for this marks for today, but there'll be more in the future. Thanks for watching.